Welcome back. Nat Fife will be a docker for life with the two-time Brownlow medalist signing a two-year deal. Fife knocked back to interest from rival clubs to stay with the club that drafted him, the 31-year-old with unfinished business to take care of at Frio. I mean, this will take you to 16 seasons at Fremantle. Can you believe that? It's unbelievable. Your, your career's almost old enough to drive. <laughs> the book of Nat Fife, the footballer, will start and end with Fremantle. There was no doubt that I was ever going to play footy anywhere else. There's at least one more chapter left to write, the final chase for that elusive silverware. I've often said winning one here would be worth winning five at another club for me because my whole adult life's work has been trying to help this footy club. I think we're in a position, as good a position as any other club that are competing over the next couple of years, so that made it a little bit easier. But to be honest, um, the loyalty factor, the family element that I have here, um, my identities with this club, I just couldn't realistically see myself playing anywhere else. A new two-year deal, but gone are the million-dollar paydays. Sacrifice could lead to the ultimate success. Where did it sit financially? Because I'm assuming it's not the same deal that you had for six <laughs> years when you're winning Brownlows. No, no, this is a much different deal. And to be honest, Jason and I spoke about that over the last couple of years, that um, my heavy pay days have come and gone, and I'm really grateful for the club for that opportunity. But I'm in a different space now, and we've got so many young players coming through that deserve to be paid well. Um, and my job is to be in a position to be able to lead and guide a mentor um, and let the circle of life do its thing. Financially, at this point in my career, it's somewhat irrelevant. The interest came from the East. Collingwood, Brisbane and St Kilda, just some of the clubs that inquired, but it never got too far. I saw actually a picture of me in the different jumpers and it just, just didn't hit. That wasn't me. That was never going to happen. <laughs> I know you're tight with Ross Lyon. At any point, did he just even flick you a cheeky text to say, hey, we've got room in the midfield? I did get a couple texts from Ross, not to do with that, just more to do with um, hope you're going OK. And missed a couple of late-night phone calls from Brad Hill. So, um, <laughs> yeah, nothing serious there. It's not the first time other clubs have come knocking, but the king of Fremantle has always bled purple. There were some um, conversations before I signed my last big deal. Yeah. Um, this is when you were 24. Yeah, yeah. Uh, about yeah, looking to go to an expansion club or looking to go and play East, play in one of the biggest clubs in Melbourne, those sorts of conversations. Um, and we did have a look at them just to get some information, but, um, but there's never been any real consideration. Once I became invested in playing with Fremantle, um, it was going to take a lot for me not to be playing here, and thankfully I'll be a one-club player.